Kelly Barlow Creations. If you are new to my channel and stopping by for the first time, thank you for stopping by. Welcome to my channel. Stick around a while by clicking that red button for more crafting on a budget, more everything on a budget videos to come. And if you click it again when the bell appears, YouTube will notify you when I'm uploading a new video. If you're interested in following me on social media, you can find those links in the description box below, along with my PO box if you're interested in sending me mail and watching me open it up in a video. What have I got going on for you for today? Today I am bringing to you another Elf on the Shelf DIY because I tell ya, when Allie's elves come to visit us, it is by far my favorite time of year and I definitely enjoy it just as much as she does. We have so much fun when they come to visit seeing all of their fun little activities and all the fun new things that they bring to her every morning. I just can't help myself. So I join in with Santa. I do some of these DIYs to help them feel just a little bit more comfortable here in our home and to make it a bit more fun for Allie. Today I'm bringing to you a DIY elf snuggie and a hammock. These are two super easy DIYs to do with your elf and they are so budget friendly they're gonna cost you under a dollar to make. So let's jump into it. Let me show you how easy these DIYs are and how they make that visit with your elf just a little bit more fun for your kids. For this elf on the shelf DIY it is gonna cost me under a dollar to make because I will be using one piece of red one piece of green and one piece of white felt. You can get felt for under 20 cents a sheet. I'm gonna start off by taking my red piece of felt and I'm gonna fold it in half to make it two layers thick. Once I've got it folded in half, I'm gonna take my ruler and on the bottom edge, I'm gonna measure out four inches and I'm gonna put a dot on the four inch mark and a dot on the one inch mark. And on the top of my felt, I'm gonna measure out two inches, centering it in the middle here at the top. Then I'm just gonna take and connect my two dots by drawing a line with my ruler from top to bottom. And cut out where I just drew my line connecting my dots on each side. On a piece of paper, I freehand drew a mermaid fin because I'm making multiples of these mermaid snuggies and so I'm going to cut it out and once I've cut it out I'm going to use a white piece of scrap felt that I had laying around and I'm going to fold it in half to make it two layers thick and I'm going to trace my template onto my white felt. Once I've traced my fin I'm going to cut it out and I'm gonna flip over my two pieces because there's pencil on these, so I don't want the pencil to show. And I'm gonna hot glue these fins together. I'm also gonna hot glue the sides of my red felt. Only the sides because remember, our elf needs to fit inside. I'm not gonna close up the bottom or the top of this felt, just the sides. And just to dress this snuggie up a bit, I thought I'd take my peeking shears and trim along the side just to give this a nice decorative edging. And now I'm gonna hot glue my fins into the bottom of my red felt, just like so. Now taking my green felt, again, I'm gonna fold it in half and I'm gonna cut a decorative ruffled edge and I'm just gonna eyeball it. I'm not looking for perfection. Once I've got it cut along the flat edge of my ruffle, I'm gonna place some hot glue and I'm gonna glue this to the top of my Snuggie. And oh my word, would you look at how stinking cute this mermaid Snuggie is. Allie's elves are going to love these this year. I felt like these Snuggies were just a bit too plain for my taste, so I decided to take my white gel pen and although it's not showing up on the camera, I decided to put some white stitch marks along her Snuggie just to dress it up just a bit. I honestly cannot handle how stinking cute these are. I think Allie's Evie and Elfie are going to love these and Allie is going to get such a kick out of these. For this next Elf on the Shelf DIY, 
I am going to be making a hammock for your elves to take a break on that can hang from your Christmas tree. For this DIY, I'm going to be using some leftover fabric that I've had from previous Christmases and I'm going to cut a strip that's about six inches wide. Once I've got my strip cut, I'm going to fold my fabric in half at about the 12 to 14 inch mark, making my fabric two layers thick. I'm gonna fold my fabric in half with the wrong side facing out. And using hot glue, I'm gonna close up the sides of my fabric. If you wanna sew this closed, you can do that too. Once I've got both my sides closed up, I'm gonna turn it right side in. Now taking two pieces of wood doweling that I picked up from the Dollar Tree in their craft section, I'm gonna fold my fabric over the doweling, just like so, and I'm gonna hot glue it closed. And I'm gonna do this to both ends of my fabric. Using some baker's twine, you can also get this at the Dollar Tree in the craft section, I'm gonna wrap the baker's twine around the exposed doweling on each side of my fabric, giving me the string that I need to hang this hammock from the Christmas tree. And I'm gonna do this on both ends of the fabric. So this is what you should be left with on each end of your hammock. And there you have it. A mermaid Snuggie for your elf on the shelf and a hammock to hang from the tree so they can take a rest from their night at the North Pole when they come to visit you each morning. These DIYs are so budget friendly and you can do these elf on the shelf DIYs for under a dollar and it adds a whole new element of magic and fun to your kids Christmas. How stinking cute is that mermaid Snuggie? Allie got a Snuggie from her grandma a couple years ago, and I just thought it would be so cute if her elf showed up with one. How fun would that be? And now Allie and her elf have a mermaid Snuggie. And of course you need a hammock to put on your tree, so when they're making all of those trips back and forth to the North Pole, they have somewhere to rest and get a day off. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Please give this video a thumbs up and let's get this video to 3,000 likes because those thumbs up really do help my channel to grow and it helps YouTube to notice me just a bit more. Until next time, everybody, I hope you are enjoying this Elf on the Shelf series that I'm bringing to you. Have a fantastic day. Happy crafting on a budget. Happy holidays and bye for now.